In this video, we're going to try to determine which term will dominate as n gets very, very big. So here you've got the square root of n versus natural log of n. So natural log of n looks something like this. Square root of n will look something like this. They're, they're both, uh, so natural log of n is here. Um, square root of n is here. The, th the thing is, they're both climbing. They're both climbing. This one here is always climbing, and natural log is always climbing. As n gets very, very big, which term will dominate? As it turns out, even if you have, even if you have n to the power of 0 0.00037, say, um, th this is very small. Even though it's very, very small, eventually it will overtake your, your natural log. Eventually. So, 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 um, so this purple line here, this purple line here, let's say this represents your square root your square root, um, square root of n. But if you have n to the power of, let's say, a really small number, uh, 3, 7, it, it climbs very, very slow, but it's always increasing. It's always increasing. Eventually, it will overtake, it will overtake your, your natural log. It will overtake it. But let's, let's pretend you didn't know that. So, so now we're going to try and determine which term will dominate as n gets very, very big. This one square root of n or natural log of n. So, uh, so consider the ratio of the two. So, so for example, let's, let's just imagine the, uh, the height here. As n gets very, very big, let's just imagine this, uh, this height is 9999. Nine, nine, nine. It's a very big number. And this, this, uh, this height here is, let's just say, 5. So, so if you look at the ratio, you, you've got 9999 nine, nine, nine divided by 5. Then you can detect, um, so, so this number will be very, very big. So you can detect that um, uh, that this that uh, the square root here will be bigger than this. But if you have something like this, if if the uh, if the natural log is bigger, if the natural log is bigger than uh, than the square root, let's just say this. So let's just say this is nine 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 nine, and this here is let's just say five. So so if you look at the ratio, um, if you if you look at the ratio, uh, five divided by nine 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 here. The, the, the number would be near, near zero. So, so you can detect that one is bigger than the other. So if you look at the ratio, you can detect which, which one would be bigger as, um, as n heads towards infinity. Well, let's, let's try and find the limits then. So, uh, so here, uh, we've got to use L'Hopital's rule. So as n tends to infinity, you've got, this thing here is climbing all the time. It's heading towards infinity. This thing here is heading towards infinity. Infinity over infinity is, in, is an indeterminate form. So you can differentiate this. That will then give you this. Differentiate this. That will then give you this. Do the same over here. So, so we, we are trying to determine which, which one will be bigger. So we are going to look at the ratio of the two. So on the left hand side, we've got the square root divided by log. So here we've got log divided by the square root. And then later on, we can compare the two. So looking at the, uh, looking at the right hand side, as n gets bigger and bigger and bigger, this is going to head towards infinity. This is going to head towards infinity. Indeterminate form. So you can use L'Hopital's rule and then differentiate this. That will then give you this. Differentiate this. That will then give you this. Um, so this is one thing. Divide is the same as you multiplying the reciprocal. So that will then give you this. That's the same as you multiplying the reciprocal. So that will then give you this. And then tidy it up. So it's top times top, bottom times bottom, blah, blah, blah. That will then give you this. And then it's, uh, it's then, uh, tidy up, blah, blah, blah. That will then take you to, that will then take you to here. That will then take you to here. So now, uh, now as n gets bigger and bigger, as n gets bigger and bigger, this thing here is going to be very, very big. Two divided by something that's very, very big. It's going to head towards zero. Uh, here you've got something that keeps on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You divide it by two, the whole thing will just keep on getting bigger and bigger. So you can see, you can see now that um, when when you get um, how, so 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 how bear with me. So this thing here is heading towards infinity. This thing here is heading towards zero. So going back to here, going back to here, this uh, this thing here is is heading towards towards infinity. This thing here is heading towards zero. So, uh, so, so you can see that, um, that the, uh, the square root is, is going to be much, much bigger than natural log as n gets bigger and bigger. Meaning that, um, meaning that if you, if you extend this, 
this is going to eventually be very very big the square root and then the natural log is, is going to be very very small in comparison to the uh, to the square root and you can use the same argument look at the ratio use the same argument for um, for let's say n to the power of 0 0.0037 say um, it, it, uh, eventually in fact n to the power of anything will be much much bigger than the natural log uh, of n as n tends to infinity okay so so bear that in mind well ingrain that in your mind it's very important you you've got to know this um, n to the power of anything Will, will be will be much much bigger than uh, than the natural law as n tends to infinity. Okay, ingrain that in your mind.